No, you know, how, how much toe do you do? You do a lot of it? I do. Are you like, are you like the, the, like the toe gabra? Give me one sec. Let me just step away real quick. Um, am I the toe god? No, I run a, I run LS Customs. Uh, mechanic oh, fuck yeah. So yeah. you're not like the god of toe. Do you know the god of toe or someone who is a god of towing? Let me cut right to the chase. Are you with the company? Yeah. I was trying to set up a meeting with OTT in regards to what I think you're asking about. Looking really? For blueprints? I, we are. You motherfucker. Some of that. Let's talk. What Sorry, I, fu I got fucking bumped into a car. Uh, you, hey, yo, OTT, we got we to gotta, we gotta connect, bro. We're, talk we're talking to uh, Nino Chavez, man. Motherfucker. I, I, where, where do you want to meet? Uh, come to LS Customs. LS Customs, we're coming. We'll see you in a minute. Bitch. What's going on, gentlemen? Uh, hey, what's up, Nino? Not too much. I'm uh, solely having my head caved in. That's what it feels like. Shit, you and I both, fuck's sakes. Um, so, oh, I... let's, uh, do you guys want to talk on the roof right there? Yeah, yeah, we're just, uh, we're just waiting on Ray. Oh, there's Ray. Hey, how's it going, Nino? Good to see you, Heavy B. How you doing? Uh, How you doing, Ray? You good, bro? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm just, <laughs> any water, just, live it there. Um... Uh... Oh my god. All right. Actually, we can probably uh, talk inside here. Okay. I just don't Is like those where... spots over there because, like, people might be able to listen over the ledge. Is this your repair shop? You know. It is. It's been, um, uh... yeah, it's been an interesting ride. Supply chains and all that bullshit, you know? I can uh. imagine. All right. All right. So, uh, I understand y'all are interested in a uh, lockpick uh, blueprints. Yeah. Yes. Um, well, yes. well, also, I'm, I've always had this theory that the lockpick blueprint probably gives you a lockpick that you can make that is maybe better than the ones that you can buy at the toe. But maybe I'm wrong about this. You, that's, that's the thing I'm uncertain of myself. Yeah, which is fine. I, I'm buying it regardless. So it doesn't matter. Okay. So, um, here's, uh, I'll, I'll put it like this. Um, I've been scraping up funds to get a place, get a supply chain going. But the reality of the matter is, um, I'm having a lot of problems getting materials, getting pots made. And uh, feeding the mechanics down here. Now, I happened upon um, an individual that has a lockpick blueprint. And he's willing to give it to me. Problem is, the price he's looking for is 75k. It's a scam. That's a, that's a straight scam, yeah. The, the other so, guy is selling us for um, 50, 58. What was it, 50, 58? Yeah. Yeah. 58. So he's selling yeah. at a cost. Yeah, at cost, yeah. That's okay. So here's what I'm uh here's what I'm gonna do. Well let me tell you what I was thinking and then um you know I'll I'll tell you what I'm thinking here. Um now me and OTT have spoken quite a bit uh in regards to the shop specifically. Um seeing if he can help me get materials, get pots, that sort of thing. Um I'm gonna chat with him and see if he's willing to get it at a reduced rate but he's probably going to need like a cut or something like that i mean the value of the blueprint right now is having it right literally uh, and that value will go down dramatically as the day go everybody's gonna have that piece of shit you're right 100 percent. So, that's not when Anything, nah, right? this shit will tank so hard in like three days. I have no idea. So, I think it'd be in everybody's best interest 
mm. to get it early uh, at a price that isn't marked up and we're using it and selling stuff yes. from it. That's just yeah. going to be the only way you're going to make money here. Right, let's we get the honest. money back. We'll get it all back within three days of selling lockpicks. I'll be honest, guys. Uh, Vinny said like he thinks that it, like we should get it early because if we don't, he thinks that that blueprint is going to be out of stock real quick, you know? Also talking about Vinny, he's literally calling me. Uh, all right. So, yes, what's going on? You know, I think Vinny's a scammer. I said it. What, what's up, buddy? Sorry, one more time. Look. Yes, what's up, Vinny? What's going on? I have a lot of... Oh, I'll wait for the phone call. Oh, yeah. Let me play it back yeah. real quick. I'm just going to... I need to finish a quick little conversation with the GP. One second. Yo, bye-bye. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, you, you think he's a scammer? Yeah, bro. Like, the fuck? Bro. 40 bucks apart? Guys, fucking stupid. What the heck? Yeah, I mean, that's the reason why I didn't want to work out a deal because I knew, you know, I had a deep conversation with Nino. Nino was already offering us $10 more per, per crafting part with, you know, no strings attached type shit. So that's why I really want for us to all have a meeting to see like, hey, can we get into business together? If so, how does it work? How does we make money? If not, then that's okay. We can also revisit this again in a week, two weeks when sort of the market balances out, cools off a little bit, goes up, goes down, figure out where we're at. We already got some dipshit on Twitter right now paying $2.50 per mat, which is going to well, fuck up the margins even more. I think. What if we make an alliance with, oh, with um, Mr. Lang? By every part of the market and we make this the spot people prefer their cross at. Fuck more. How do you feel about that, Nino? I would do that in a hoppy. It's similar to my proposal. I'm just looking to be a mechanic at the shop. That's it. I'm not looking yeah. to... And uh, I'm going to talk to this guy. Let me convince him. He's... Uh, let me convince him to hand over the blueprint. I got to wait till after Tsunami. Let's see. Uh, I can get him to wake up. Okay. But like I said, uh, I want to... I'm looking to do business that's fair for everybody. I've uh, been making pots myself, trying to acquire materials. But the fact of the yeah. matter is, you need a lot of people doing a lot of things, and everyone's got to eat. Okay, hold up. And also, I just got myself thinking. This could be the first repair um, mechanic store or shop that has the lockpicks to sell. Because right now, not a lot of people have them. True. If we, if we were to all stack up our money, the company, get the BP, right? Like a bunch of them, and then feed you the parts. People come in to repair their cars, buy lockpicks. You get established a good clientele, you know? Agreed. You yes. get a good portion of the lockpick profit. You provide me with the pots. And that way we're all kind of eating good. Yes. Moses is always going to fuck everybody. That's, the, that's, that's just the fact of the matter. But uh, I think yeah. that with your plan, the entire supply chain is under, like, uh, whatever you want to call it. Look, uh, all right. The what? The enjoying that food, man. Jeez, you good, Nino? Yeah, yeah I'm good. Oh, sorry, I thought oh. you were wrong. Okay. Vinny is too, uh, uh, it's too scammy, too, um, too short um, on his prices. Then you have Mosley's that are too high and too stupid, right? Then we got here. I think here's a nice spot. I think we could just offload all our uh, parts here at once. And then I would like for us to do something that, um, my, sorry guys for the term, okay? It's gonna sound a little uh, crazy. The uh, the recycling cartel, okay? Where we gonna have a good foothold on <laughs> the on the prices and supply of materials and then see the prices kinda reestablish. But it'd be really cool to have early blueprints here so that we could both make the, make the gosh darn lockpicks and sell them here. You know, I'm willing to give you guys a stake in this place as well. So you feel like you have 
ownership stake. Would that be fun? That way, um, you know you're not going to get fucked. That is, that is interesting. Plan so Spicer got here. Uh, say again. It's a nice place you got here. I it like is it. nice. To give you an idea. I was able to raise about two hundred and eighty thousand. Uh, sorry, two hundred and ninety thousand dollars in the span of twenty-five hours. What? Yeah. You raised two hundred ninety thousand dollars for this place. Sure, as shit did. Nino knows what the fuck he's doing, boys. This is uh. Um Let me show you. This is from yesterday. I'm a good talker. I can make sales. <clears throat> Damn. Like I said, and a big part of that is my words, my bond. So people trust to send me money. So, all right, let's do it. Let's just, um, I think we should like offload all our parts today. We have a bunch. Yeah. We can offload them in Nino. It's not just a bunch, but we could supply like a constant supply. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's more so that. Like, that's a better thing. We have somewhere to actually offload. What's the price you're looking for in Nino? 50 bucks each is what is what he proposed, right? $50 each. That's a decent profit margin. That's like 47% profit margin for us guys. Yeah. I know it's small in the beginning, but think big, especially if the company's got a piece of this place. Mm. I mean, man, guys, we could be printing money in the near future. Absolutely. Sure, just do it. All right. Uh, Nino, okay. what's your relationship with Lang? You guys cool? Uh, we're cool. He's uh, been trying to supply me pots. Perfect. Uh, the problem right now with uh, sanitation was actually just outside with a individual named uh, Arthur. He runs... Uh, like shifts in the AU EU hours and uh, what I gathered from yesterday and with him is the problem is that there's a lot of crews individual crews running sanitation like solo etc etc and apparently only eight trucks can run at a time that's the bottleneck I'm also thinking as these lockpicks get into circulation people are probably going to start robbing houses and from the past, a lot of people are hoarding up materials in their houses because they know it's going to be worth something in the future. So Agreed. I'm sure that as these blueprints start circulating and more lockpicks get out there, sanitation probably won't be the only way to get materials. Now, if Lang has a chokehold on the sanitation union and we somehow can work out a deal with him, he's going to have that covered. And obviously, we can be the ground people that are going to make sure that the union is doing what the union needs to do and make sure that nobody is cutting out the union dues or whatever Lang has set up, if any. And then on the side, we got a whole bunch of people that we can have robbing houses, getting out there, doing the grunt work, and feeding us materials below market value, which will only patent uh, and cushion our profit margins at the end of the day. Agreed. It's going to take time, but I think we can get there. Um, there's, uh, one other thing, and this is going to excite you. Here it comes. I've seen what it takes to make the, uh, the shit. Um, these can only be made in a house and cannot be made in the small apartment benches. Secondly, the material it uses is all the junk that all the other shops are trying to throw out. Ooh. Oh, oh, the oh, the Yes. And who? And, uh, and how do they know that? Because I've seen the BP. Hmm. If you throw it onto a basic bench, and I'm surprised no one's actually done this yet, or maybe they're keeping it to themselves, you can throw it on a on a regular table. When you throw it on a regular table, you can actually see the pots. It's using. Give me a second. Um. It's using the alloy. The alloy? Alloy oh, yeah. tubes. Oh, the metal alloy. Okay. Alloy tubes are the least used pot when you're making mechanic pots. So what I'm saying here is that's huge margins. It's bigger than you might think even. 
because a lot of these shops that don't have this are probably throwing that shit away. Also, what it's doing is if, if you were just making pots, right, you'd be sitting on so much alloy because it's not being used, but now it's been getting redirected to the lock picks. So you're getting more bang for the buck. Uh, how many, um, how many pots of alloy you need for to make a lock picker? Um, I believe it was 300. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a lot. Yeah. Wait, I'm sorry, 300 to make one? So that's the, that's the next thing. It's what? 300 alloy and seven of some other shit. I don't remember what it was. Holy shit. So. Uh, brother, just wait. It was, hold on. Let me make sure. What the hell, boy? I think it was sure actually. 30? I think it was 150 now that I think about it. Because what, what I priced it out to is. The cost to manufacture was 300 so now i'm thinking i've got it backwards i think it was a, 150 and seven um, okay how much okay, do you, so how it's... much do the graphics go for when you buy them at the, at the bitch ass so i was told that the guys that get the blueprint also can buy them and how much do they buy them for at, at the spot 300. okay if they're 150 boys wait they, wait, wait the... whoa, 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 whoa. 300 to buy a lock picker and you 400. make one that, <laughs> it's cheaper what so the theory the theory we had going uh i had a long conversation uh yesterday in regards to this our theory is that he's running this remember when mosley's used to sell at 32 dollars no yeah the lowest i've ever seen was 41. it's 32 so well, no 32 and then, it, and then it would it crashes. with tax yep Oh, okay. We're okay. thinking it's either very similar or like how JP said here, it might be um, that very these lock picks are different. That's mm. fucking right. I've been thinking mm. about that for, for weeks now. Mm, makes sense. Maybe they're advanced. That's right. <laughs> and maybe you can use them. Yeah. On the, to break on in the house. No. Yes. Yeah. At the museum door. Yes. Boys. Also, listen. these shops have limited inventory. I can't say this in regards to lock picks, right? But I know that when that BP is bought, that guy, the person cannot get another one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what Vinny was saying, too. We need to buy the BP off of your guy, bro. Flat out. I'm going to chat with him. I like this deal. And, uh... I'm going to get something written up so it's official. You guys got a piece of this place. And uh, we don't have to do the thing on pots and shit like that because price, prices fluctuate. Uh, I've known OTT for a minute. So uh, I think the conversation is enough to make me happy. So uh, I'm going to try to get in contact with him and get this sorted in the next few hours. Perfect. All right. Does anybody have anything else? Ray, you want to speak up? I mean, the biggest thing to me was, I mean, it's not that much more to make these, even if they're the same type of lockpick, it's only like about $314 to, to make a lockpick at $2 per material. And you can make probably as many as you want, while you can only buy one for 300 You know what I mean? Correct. The other thing to look at is the lockpicks are free if you're already making cop pods. Oh, cousin. I'm because willing to, um, you know, the, the amount that your guy wants too much, but yeah. I'm willing to give him, bitch ass uh, motherfucker, you uh, been a girl, uh, I knew I'd get you, bro. I knew I'd get you, motherfucker. You've been too good to the OTT. Fucking bitch, you've been too good, bro. Oh. Bro, you have to be more aggressive, man. These are, you're too soft, bro. Uh, oh, JP. I have you had it coming, bro. I got to be honest with you. No, Nino <laughs> wants these guys off, to have a, uh, this is a huge that, deal. That, 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 um, listen, so I've been thinking whatever, whatever margin that he wants that he's marking up, I want to give him a, a good amount of that, right? After the fact, but I think it would be good to get the blueprints out and bought like now. Agreed. So if we get our guys together, we pay him at cost and I'll keep funneling money through him, right? Until he has that margin paid off, like a, almost okay. like a loan. Okay. Right? Because otherwise, uh, I gotta be honest, we're not making money on that. It's gonna be dog shit. 
I agree. I'm gonna I'm gonna chat with him. He uh he was trying to make uh some money with it, but here's the thing. Uh he's not very business savvy. I'll have a very clear chat with him that this is in uh everyone's best interest. This is long term money here, you know? Well, well short term yeah. money and long term money. Just tell him you always have like a constant supply for him, you know? Be good. Agreed. Mm -hmm. You do know about the benches being different now, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They change they change every three minutes, so yeah yeah that's true <laughs> all right easy all right um when when, when is your day start when do you guys open up because we got a bunch of parts uh we open as soon as i'm awake and right now we're uh, running i think 18 hours out of 24 baltimore mechanics solid. and uh tow guys so jp uh. why don't you let me work on let, why don't you let me work on the parts thing with nino i'll bring everything to him and stuff What's up? Said, so why don't you let me uh, work on that with Nino? I can go uh, pick up all the parts. I can craft some more. Um, I can sell everything to Nino, and then I'll yeah. have all the money for us, and we can kind of pull it yeah, up. Yeah, and I can help anytime you're not the wrong. I got it. All right. Is that all okay right. with you, JP? Yeah. All right. All right. At this point, JP, we could probably just go do the thing that you, uh, the job, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You guys work on the job. I'll work on the business. All right. Hey, Nino, I'm looking forward to working in business again with you. God damn, Likewise. If at any point you guys got concerns, whether it's people working down here or the business overall, just uh, holla. That sounds good. Hey, X, you got your gun out. 